Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Shapeshifter Heroes. You heard me correct. Shapeshifter Heroes look like they might be coming soon based off of a leak that we have just seen posted yesterday and of course the website of EA and the car design that they show on that website and that's been there for a couple days but now we have a concrete leak that shows us that there actually might be something coming related to a new hero card for at least one of the heroes in FIFA 22. I want to take a look at that more shapeshifter leaks and talk about the insane um, summer swap objectives that EA dropped yesterday eight tokens in one day it was crazy now maybe they can step away and say hey we released so many tokens we're now ahead we were just talking about it in yesterday's video that we needed more swap tokens and then ea goes out and puts eight tokens in one day crazy so i'll talk about that and of course the upgrade pack situation how can you be trying to pack shapeshifters right now on this game or crafting in the menus we'll talk about that best grind on the video today so if you're excited for maybe a shapeshifter hero Hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's start there once again. This is the webpage that we looked at earlier at on the weekend, actually, showing this card right here. I know you can't see it. It's kind of behind my face cam. I'll hide it for a second. You see that hero little insignia right here at the top, right, with the crown on top of the football. That is the hero uh, little design that's on every single hero card, hero captains, the base hero cards. So this got us thinking, is there going to be a hero card, a part of Shapeshifters? And then we had this leak yesterday from Foot Sheriff. Ole Solskar is getting an SBC, a player pick SBC, and a two version set of Shapeshifter Heroes cards coming. We don't know when, but coming soon. This opens the door for more Shapeshifter Heroes as well. But that's the real question. This is an SBC and it was leaked on a Monday. So, what does this really mean? Stats predicted, of course, and it's a dual player pick. He is listed as a left wing and a center attacking mid. Now, these are predicted stats, of course, but again, what we just said, this opens the door. Is this going to be, and this is where we're going to think critically here for a second, is this going to be a one time only SBC? Is this going to be the only Foot Heroes card that gets a shapeshifter hero? Or. Is there more of them coming? Ginola, Mostavoy, Ole are right, a couple of cards that have not gotten different hero versions yet. They didn't get a hero captain's card or anything like that. Will we see more heroes dropped after this? We don't know. Now, since this is an SBC and it was leaked on a Monday, I think this content is going to come before Friday. This to me is not content that's related to like a new third week of shapeshifters. As of right now, um, I know it seems like a lot of those player. We just had the Rafael Guerrero, right? So it's just like, okay, that's a lot of player pick SBCs for two different shapeshifter cards in a short time period. But this being leaked on a Monday makes me feel like we're going to get this Ole SBC in the next coming days. So, I mean, this, this is a big dub regardless of whether it's the only hero card that we're going to have for uh, a shapeshifters variant or if there's going to be more. Ole has not had any other cards yet this year besides his base hero item. He, he is due an upgrade, right? He needs a skill move and a weak foot upgrade 100% and a big stat attribute update. Uh, he's 5'10". I believe he has like average body type, which doesn't help his card in game that much. But still, good links there, right? Greed link to any Premier League card. And, you know, it's kind of interesting about this. Maybe EA setting the stage for a transferred Erling Holland Manchester City card coming out maybe in a month or so during footies because this would be a green link to that Erling Holland as well. Some Norwegian links, especially being in the Premier League, that would be pretty cool. So just kind of keep that in mind uh, with those cards as well. And this Ole has a lot of hype and a lot of potential right now. As I look in the game, I wanted to see if there was a new card design. It's, there's not. It just shows the regular Shapeshifters card design and there's nothing else in there. So I don't know when this SBC is going to be dropped. I don't know um, the, the details about this by any means. But of course, what we can see right now is it's a leak and it is confirmed to be coming. I think it's going to be in the next couple of days, but we'll have to see what EA's plans are with that. And really now it just kind of confirms that we're going to get different versions of heroes uh, inside of Shapeshifters. But is it the only one? That's our big question. Hopefully we see more. We want a Ginola. We want a Mostovoy. There's a couple other cards that haven't gotten different heroes yet. So we have hope for those. But right now, all we know is about an Ole. So that could be pretty interesting. EA, just give him the juice. Make it a good card. 
let us have fun. That's what we hope for with this. Now, speaking of more shapeshifters leaks, there is another one, and it is also Premier League. Jamie Vardy Party is getting a shapeshifters SBC in the following days. Stats are a prediction, and the position is unknown. Some people think this is going to be a right wing Jamie Vardy. I kind of hope that it's a center back Jamie Vardy. I know nobody really wants that or thinks that might be kind of crazy, uh, but... Just like we had with the Arnautovic, if we had a center back, Jamie Vardy, I think that'd be kind of sick just because it'd be completely different. And just imagine another English center back in the Premier League with a lot of pace like Jamie Vardy, but with like, you know, of course, boosted defending stats and stuff like that. Is that very realistic? No, but it would be very fun. So the thing with Jamie Vardy is this might be, we have a little bit of potential here. Imagine a five-star skill if it's an attacker, right? Let's say it's a right wing Vardy. Imagine a five-star skill, Jamie Vardy. We have never had Jamie Vardy with five-star skills in FIFA. His 93 road to the final card already has 99 attack positioning and 99 finishing with 99 reactions and composure. A very, very good card, especially for a striker. If they make him a right wing, I think he'd be a very, very clinical right forward. Or, you know, you could even move an in game to a striker, of course. But this is a card that is usually pretty FIFA meta. But he's never had like five star skills. So hopefully EA gave him the juice. If they made him four star, five star, I mean, I could see that as well. But I hope they give him like a five, four or something like that and make this Jamie Vardy just like crazy. So that is one other leak that we have right now at the moment. I think, you know, either Jamie Vardy or Ole is going to be our SBC content today. Since we did not have a player SBC yesterday, I mean, we did have Eusebio. So technically, uh, for an icon SBC, we had a player. Uh, and also, this Eusebio brought us our first ever 90 rated squad requirement in FIFA 22. I know we had these last year, I believe. The first ever 90 rated squad in FIFA 22 uh, was dropped yesterday with this. So that was kind of interesting to see. This Eusebio is definitely a little overpriced. Uh, it is cheaper than what he was before the leaks came out about his SBC. I think his SBC is coming in at like 2.3 mil. He was 2.6 before the leaks. So, there's that. If you want to craft that Eusebio, that's there for you. But other than that, we didn't have a player SBC yesterday. So that would make me think that Vardy or Ole, the player pick, would be today on Tuesday. Now, a little bit more about Tuesday content. Like I was saying, the year in review uh, player pick is expiring today as well. If you guys had did that or have done that SBC, it is expiring and going away today on Tuesday. I would imagine this is either going to get re-upped or they will drop some other sort of um, either player pick or upgrade pack Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday have all been sort of like gamble pack days in the past couple of weeks. We had the 85 plus player pick again yesterday. So really it just comes down to is EA going to re-release the year in review or are they going to give us something new? So we'll just watch out for that today. And I would expect another token SBC as well. I think, um, you know, we had the SBC six a couple days ago, SBC seven did not give us a token. And um, of course, yesterday we had all eight tokens in objectives, which we'll talk more about here in a second. But I think we would get another shapeshifter challenge maybe today or some other SBC that gives out a token today on Tuesday as well. Speaking of tokens, you guys know this is a really, really huge piece of Summer Swaps content. Yesterday when we saw this at Content Drop, we were like, oh my gosh, they dropped four tokens. And then we looked really closely at the reward down there. I was like, wait a second. There's two of these cards in every single objective. It's crazy. So we went from only having, what, four tokens released to now we have 12 total tokens that have been dropped for summer swaps if you can get these done. Now, there's a couple caveats to this. You can't actually have all four or all 12 done at the time of me recording this video because all of us have only had a chance to play four games in the live foot friendly one league, but it is golden goal. So right now there are two golden goal game modes going on. We've got the summer swaps one league game mode. And then of course we've got the shapeshifters cup. So people are doing a lot of golden goal and friendlies at the moment. Uh, but again, with this one league mode, the only bad part about all this is that you only have four matches per day. I've already, I've played two. This is out for so long though. It's out for literally a whole month almost. So you're going to be able to get this done. Um, semi easily, you know, play a couple games per day. All you have to do is get four wins. It's golden goal. Boom. You're going to get yourself eight tokens with all of these, including some squad battles matches, which is not very hard as well. You play against a low rated, low chemistry team. 
um, you know, kind of pick and choose which opponents you play against in squad battles on that world class difficulty, and you're going to get yourself some tokens as well. Um, you know, even if you play against a bronze squad with low chem, you go up 5 0, set the controller down, and you, you're probably going to win the game. So, that kind of stuff. This was really nice. That This was the biggest surprise yesterday from EA Sports. Them dropping eight summer swap tokens in one day. It was actually crazy. And the one thing I want to talk about this is people were asking like, Nate, are we going to get another set of icon swaps? Last summer, we had icon swaps four that I believe started in July. Maybe it was late July. The way that those objectives look they really seem to me like icon swap objectives. So whether it's gonna be later on in July, uh, I, it, this makes me think that we're not gonna see icon swaps really soon, unless EA is really, really trying to drive engagement and games played in the summer, which I think is, you know, you can obviously tell they're trying to do that right now. If you think from EA's perspective, they want to show that people are playing their game in the summer months when it's usually dead. Uh, and they're trying to get people to go out and play right now with this golden goal stuff and with the swaps programs that they have been, you know, really implementing a lot this year in FIFA 22. So um, I just, with these, with the similarity of this to icon swaps, again, squad battles and friendly mode kind of involved in all of this. I don't know if we're going to see icon swaps really soon. I feel like that might be something where as summer swaps is ending, maybe they'll run icon swaps. Or since this is summer swaps tokens, like this is set one, we're going to have a set two as well. I believe it even says here on the menu. Yeah, summer swaps one. So we would expect summer swaps, swaps two to be out as well. We might be done with icon swaps for the year. That's just my initial thoughts based off of seeing this. But the rewards that we have inside of summer swaps with all of the crazy packs and stuff, honestly, if you think about it, is even better than icon swaps with all of the shapeshifter player picks, the fodder packs are dirt cheap. There's still icons that are available from it. So I wouldn't be that disappointed if they just said, nah, we're gonna take icon swaps out of this. Um, the people that would be disappointed the most would probably be some of you guys that like to grind the menus a ton and have a lot of time on your hands. You're like, I would go and play those extra objectives for icon moments cards or for more, you know, fodder packs or whatever it may be. So I completely understand that point of view as well. But again, it's nothing confirmed. That's just me kind of thinking about how this looks and how that's, you know, objective setup seems to me uh, but still the, the bottom line is it's crazy we have 12 tokens now that are available for summer swaps and of course we went from having four to 12 at one time so ea's given us plenty to do with that and they've given us plenty to do with some pretty solid player picks some pretty solid player picks we guessed it correctly the 82 plus player pick returned back yesterday and it returned with the same requirements as well i believe that gold rares are maybe up a little bit. I'm gonna try to get one of these player picks done just for the video. Um, they were a bit sus yesterday. And by sus, I mean, like they weren't giving out that great. I will say I have packed, I'm pretty sure it's three daily blends in the past 24 hours now. And that's a bit disappointing because, you know, not that daily blend is a, is a bad player, but I was just hoping for a little bit more. Uh, the fodder from these has been solid. And, you know, honestly, packing three daily blends makes me feel like there's at least a chance, as you can see, I have it on my unassigned, um, that I can pack some other cards. On the stream yesterday, we were doing some share plays. I packed an Emery Chan from the 85 plus player pick, and then two guys packed Adama Treore from player picks as well. So we'll have to see how the luck is throughout the rest of this week. But at least we have a pretty nice player pick pack. I mean, if I'm getting an 85, that's not too terrible. That's kind of worth it, I guess, for my craft. It's like, what, 10,000 coins? So about break even, I suppose. Maybe a little bit less than that. But, you know, that's that 82 plus player pick is really nice to grind this week. Again, like I said yesterday, there's so many SBCs that are craftable right now that we have a great opportunity to craft by using the menus, by doing the player picks. Now, we didn't get the 75 plus times five, which was, again, as we expected, just because I thought those were going to be kind of related with that bronze and silver select with the other silver and bronze upgrades that were out. And that was the case. Um, so some people yesterday were like, man, this upgrade content is not as good as last week. And I understand that because last week we had a 75 times five and an 81 plus player pick. This week, we just had the player pick. We also had the 82 to 88, but I think that most people don't do that one that often just because the 82 plus player pick has no rating cap and it's just 82 and up. And of course, it gives you the chance at packing those very coveted shapeshifter 
cards. So that's kind of what's going on with that side of the market at the moment. Again, we talked about the Eusebio SBC just being kind of overpriced. His card went on a massive fluctuation uh, yesterday as well. Kind of an interesting tweet. A couple other small things from yesterday. El Shadawi. Last night on the video, I was looking at him at what, like 300,000 coins, right? So this El Shirawi EA tweets out yesterday on Monday, and they say, hey, we messed up with the ratings on this card, which actually we should have noticed this from the get-go. El Shirawi's, I think it was like his jumping, and there was another stat. It was like agility and balance or something like that, that they had the incorrect stats on. They were actually lower than his um, than his Road to the Knockouts card. And so EA tweeted yesterday, hey, we're going to upgrade the stats on Elsha. They were released incorrectly. So this is going to be in game. And along with his normal, like, slight market rise that you saw in the morning yesterday, I think it actually helped El Shirawi's price go up a little bit more. As we were looking at him on the video, he was 300K. He went all the way up to 360, which is where I sold the ones that I bought of him. Um, and now he's kind of back down, you know, like 10K, not really that much. But that was kind of a nice surprise, I guess. And I made a joke about it on Twitter yesterday saying, hey, this guy, a new trading method, right? Find a card that EA releases with incorrect stats and then buy it up because, you know, when they fix the stats, it'll rise uh, just kind of as, as banter. But it was also kind of funny to see that happen yesterday. Uh, yesterday, Kind of another one of those ways where EA technically made a mistake and uh, they fixed it. So rightfully so with that El Shirawi moving. Now, speaking of shapeshifters moving on the market, a lot of these guys are actually still up a little bit. Marcelo is 4 mil. Ronaldo is over 10 million coins. Like we saw with the El Shirawi rise, Ramos is up as well. Corona is up right now. Werner is up. So some of these cards, Adama as well, right? Adama was 510K. I sold mine at 580 something. Uh, he had a really nice rise yesterday as well from 500K all the way up to almost 600. You know, again, as I'm saying, it was a small rise yesterday, but if we continue to have really great SBC content, if we would get an Ole Hero card, if we would get a Jamie Vardy, and especially if we get more player picks, what it really comes down to content-wise is what are those gamble SBCs are we getting that are good? The 85 plus player pick doesn't drain the bank too much for a lot of people. It's 80K, it's a bit expensive, a lot of downvotes here, right? But again, if we get that 93 plus tot slash shapeshifter player pick or something like that, that's going to be something that would drain the market of coins. If we get a year in review player pick again today, a lot of people love that SBC, even though it's really not a good value pack. I mean, guys, you see a 50 50 upvote on this. It's really not a great value SBC. If you think about the cards that you're getting from it, if that is re-released today, that's probably going to impact the market a bit, even though I wouldn't really like uh, the contents of that SBC more than just the gamble pack. So again, I think that a lot of these shapeshifters still have room to drop. I know that some of them are up, like Ramos just got really rare right now. He's 1.7 mil. He's 1.4 mil on the Xbox. Um, I think that he's overpriced on PlayStation after being 1.55. So if you've got a couple of these cards, maybe you've been trying them out. I don't think I would hold on to them for too long, especially if more leaks start coming out about like uh, hero cards and maybe Ole or maybe a Ginola or stuff like that. If there's going to be even more versions of heroes dropping this weekend, I think that would stir the pot a little bit in the market. Maybe not crazy, but I think it would stir the pot enough where you'd see these shapeshifters that are in packs right now drop off a bit. So I still think that if you're wanting to buy any of these for your team and you're trying not to lose too many coins that I would wait until later on this week. Um, but that's kind of the thing. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to spend my coins doing upgrade packs and uh, trying to hit one of these guys. There were multiple people on the stream yesterday that hit Adama. A couple people mentioning that hit, they hit Ramos from player picks. Some guy hit Werner. Um, and then a lot of the lower tier cards, as you would expect, right? A lot of the uh, Tierney's, the Arnautovic, the Blind, uh, the Grealish that I bought on yesterday's video sold very nicely up at uh, the high 400,000 coin range. And Fodder, oh, I saw the screen yard that reminded me. SPC Fodder, to end things off in today's video, did very, very well. If you bought it yesterday, kind of on the video, when we were talking about why is Fodder down, there's just more demand coming. These cards kept going higher. The 84s from 4K all the way above to 5 thousand coins and higher 85s are like 9k plus 86s are about 15 16k so those those prices that we saw where's my guy screen ER, right screen ER last night was down at 13k when we bought him on the youtube video he was 13k here and boom back up to 16 17 
hold on to this stuff. Seriously, I, I'm still holding on to some of the stuff that I've got. I think fodder can continue to go higher throughout the rest of this week. Um, as of right now, one thing I talked about in yesterday's video too was like a guaranteed Shapeshifter Team 2 pack. We have nothing added to the code at this moment um, in relation to anything like that. So still definitely watching the code updates and stuff like that. We have nothing related to that at the moment. So we'll see if that changes. Uh, but as of right now, today on Tuesday, we're looking at some other side of upper, uh, some other type of upgrade pack, more 82 plus player picks, probably another summer swaps token or two. And the big question mark is just going to be what type of player SBC are they going to drop? Ole, Vardy, we'll see. Maybe there's some another one in there that's that's not leaked yet that EA will throw into the mix. We will have to see. But a lot of excitement for the for the shapeshifter hero cards, especially if you see that card design begin to be added to the transfer market search query. That's what I would really watch for because that would that would tell me that I think there's something special coming um, with uh, if you see that in the market. Because if it's just going to be an SBC for Ole, probably not going to see that search query or search filter quality. I guess is the right word um, in the menus. I think it would just be in like the the club search, not on the transfer market search. So we will see if anything in that regard changes today. I hope Ole comes today. I'm kind of excited for that. And I hope EA drop more heroes as well, not just Ole, but hopefully they go beyond that and drop a couple more that haven't seen upgrades since the beginning of the game. EA, we're looking at you. Ginola, that's the guy that we want to see. So if you enjoyed today's video, hit the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. I'm going to keep spamming 82 plus player picks and work on getting these objectives done because there's a lot of tokens to be claimed. And there's a lot of shapeshifters to attempt to pack. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll be catching you guys later. Peace out.